Hey everybody, Dr. Oliver here for BackIntelligence.com and today we're going to talk about anterior pelvic tilt and does it contribute to low back pain? If you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button so you get access to all the videos we put out on a routine basis. So anterior pelvic tilt is kind of a hot topic and you hear different things about it and a lot of people contribute it to an excessive amount of low back pain. So essentially, Anterior pelvic tilt is when your pelvis shifts into a different position, more forward than it should be. Now, the truth is the research is really not consistent on this. There's some research that indicates excessive anterior tilt can cause back pain, and there's other research that doesn't necessarily back that up. In my practice, I have seen individuals that have excessive anterior pelvic tilt that do have increased low back pain, and if we can work on that and reduce some of that, that anterior tilt, we tend to see that their back pain gets better. So I do believe in, in, in the end it does contribute, but I don't think it's the be all end all we all talk about. And maybe we don't need to focus on it as much as we think, but we're gonna go over it a little today and maybe how you can correct it too in a different video. So we're gonna have Leon come out. So Leon's gonna essentially demonstrate anterior pelvic tilt or excessive. So when we look at someone, we're looking at their pelvis is this region right here, okay? So if Leon were to go into an anterior pelvic tilt, he would tilt forward in the front and his butt would essentially stick backwards and you'd see this increased curvature. So his butt sticks backwards, you see this increased curvature. That's what we would call an excessive anterior pelvic tilt. Now, anterior pelvic tilt in general is normal. We should all have a slight anterior pelvic tilt. And if you look at Leon right now, if you really looked at him, he does have a slight anterior pelvic tilt. He's not flat. If he was flat, flatten out your back for me, Leon. That would be a flat back, and that is not a neutral, that is not a good position either because it's more stressful. So slight anterior pelvic tilt is normal. And in women, they should have even a slightly more anterior pelvic tilt. So we're not saying anterior pelvic tilt is bad. It's, ex it's when it becomes excessive. So I find with some individuals I meet that have back pain and they tell me, I have great lordosis, I have a great curve in my low back. Well, it's actually too great, right? They're actually putting it into too big a curve. They're overcorrecting or they've tried to or they learned that this flat back, which we know can be more stressful on a lumbar spine, they go the opposite direction. So we don't want to overcorrect things either. So we're going to demonstrate with Leon a little bit about some movements that people do. So we tend to see this in some people just standing, like Leon's saying, just standing there, they hold that really awkward position where their butt sticks backwards and they're really excessively turning on those lumbar paraspinals, which are those muscles in the back, no good. You could also do this sitting. If you try to sit up nice and tall in a nice tall posture, you're actually doing too much. So excessive is not good. We want neutral, we'll talk about that in a little bit. The other thing we tend to see this big time in is, is lifting, lifting weights specifically or lifting up things off the ground. So people will really try to avoid the, the rounding of the back and they'll go into this excessive lordosis. And from that position, if you're trying to lift, you're, it's gonna be all back, right? The other thing you'll see then is in deadlifting and squatting. Again, if you, if you go into that position, you really crank through your lower back and you pull up, he's using his whole back there to do that. Or in a squat position, you have a squat bar on your back and you really, tuck into it to support the weight, again, you're just loading the heck out of your low back. So we need to be conscious of these things. So you may have an excessive anterior tilt, we need to pull you back a little bit and just get you in a more of a neutral position, which still is anterior pelvic tilt, it's just not excessive. So this video was designed to just teach you what anterior pelvic tilt is and to not be too scared of it, but to learn maybe you have a little bit of excessive anterior tilt. But again, if, as long as you're aware of these things, we generally find that people are okay. So what we're gonna do in another video, we're gonna talk about exercises you can use to try to address this if you do have this excessive anterior pelvic tilt, ways you get in a better position. So stay tuned for another video where we talk about that. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you like it as well as subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos just like this. Also, research shows that uh, you need to strengthen your core if you want to alleviate some of that low back pain. Uh, and not only that, but you need to make sure that the exercises that you perform really target those deep core muscles, and you need to make sure those exercises are safe for your spine. Now we have a free PDF that we'd love to send you with uh, some of the most effective and safest core exercises that you can do from your home. So if you'd like to get that PDF, there's going to be a link to it somewhere here on the video or down below in the description. Just go to that page, enter your email, and we'll send you that free PDF right away.